As you celebrate the dawn of 2010, food safety, probably the last thing on your mind today. But as the new year kicks off, another big meat recall is actually underway. And as Luis Giovanni reports, politicians in Washington still haven't figured out that full food safety agenda for you. As the year ended, 248,000 pounds of beef were recalled in the West, a voluntary move by Oklahoma-based National Steak and Poultry. That after a cluster of E. coli cases potentially linked to the product were detected in several states. Food safety lawyer Bill Marler, who began his career representing E. coli victims sickened in the 1993 Jack in the Box outbreak, says food regulators across government agencies could benefit from a more intense sense of urgency. One of the things that uh, the head of FDA and USDA should do is, you know, sit down at a table, in a kitchen table with a family of a child who, you know, a family of a child who's died from E. coli. Marler and others say the coming year could be a good year for food safety if Congress and the Obama administration undertake a renewed commitment to tightening regulations. The White House could start off with an appointment to the Agriculture Department's Food Safety and Inspection Service. The service has been without a chief for more than a year, but needs someone to regulate the meat industry, including meat, chicken, lamb, and pork. Also high on the agenda, passage of food safety legislation designed to enhance the operation of the Food and Drug Administration. It's been approved in the House with a version of it pending action in the Senate. The bill would give the FDA more resources for inspection, for better monitoring of foodborne illnesses by the CDC, and for enhancements to antiquated high-tech information systems. In the view of former FDA Imports Director Carl Nielsen, that is key. You have to remember that there's... Uh... Uh, maybe close to 300,000 foreign firms that are supplying food products to the United States. FDA historically, physically inspects maybe 100 uh, of those. So uh, there's very, very spotty information. The CDC estimates that overall, foodborne illnesses kill about 5,000 people annually. America, to a great extent, consumers can protect themselves. From the food industry to food safety advocates, the advice is to cook meats to an end temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep foods, food surfaces, and preparation tools clean, hands clean, of course, and be aware of food safety alerts. Erica? All right, Louise, thanks. Kind of a scary way to start the new year, but good tips at the end there.